In 16th century England, in exchange for land, a tenant farmer would have had to profess loyalty to his lord. Today, Claire and James rent that land to local farmers and growers who sell their produce back to Doddington. I've come to meet Neil Pont and his son Oliver, Doddington's beekeepers. Hi, I found you. I'm Julie. Hi, uh, Neil. Nice to meet you. Hey, Oliver. Hi, so nice to meet you. I'd love to see you guys at work if I could. Well, join you'll need you. a bee suit. I was hoping you were going to ask me that. <laughs> I really wanted a bee suit. Might be a bit big. Quite big. I've done it. Beekeeping is an ancient tradition on estates like this. It is like having kids again, isn't it? And it's a delicate business. If a hive gets too crowded, half the bees will leave in a swarm to search for a new home. This hive here went wrong a few weeks ago and it swarmed. So I took a queen cell out, put in there with a load more bees, so it produced a new queen. So okay. we can have a look, see if it's worked or not. Each hive is led by a queen, while the workers toil to make honey and maintain the hive. Typically, per hive, you want one queen yeah. and then all the working bees. Is that what you call yeah. them? Yeah, yeah, workers, yeah. Great. I love it that the queen's in charge. My gosh, this is incredible. I've never seen this up close and personal. When you look through a hive of bees, it's a bit like look, turning the pages on a book. Every page tells a little story. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh look at this. Look. Oh, oh, I can't believe you're touching them. <gasps> so there's something special on there. Can you. How good are your eyes? Yeah, I think I see the queen. I think. Oh, I'm, a, I'm scared yeah. to point. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to point. Am I right? Yeah. That's the queen. Yeah. The new queen looking good. Her role is to, to just simply to lay eggs. She can lay 2,000 eggs a day, but she won't be doing that all, all the time. You do the maths so over six years. That's quite a lot of eggs, isn't it? She's got a lot of children. So but what I want to do here, I want to mark that queen green, so I know that she was born in this year. Rest your hand on mine so it steadies it. And you're going to put a little dot on, on that bit there. Which bit? The dark bit? That bit, there. OK. <gasps> That's it. You're a natural. Every year, each hive will produce around 800 pounds worth of honey for the farm shop. See now the colony works, yeah. but you haven't seen the honey. OK, I get to do that too? Yeah. This whole thing does make me a bit itchy. <laughs> Probably because of the buzzing. Shake the bees off. Uh-huh. We have a knife and we cut the cappings oh. off. So I'm going to go like this? Just be real careful. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> It so that, looks delicious. Right, okay. You can eat that. You can eat the whole. It's a bit like chewing gum. No, I wish I could put it through here. Can I just try it? Can I try yeah, yeah. Can I try this? Is that good? Okay. Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. When you got the original mm. chewing, chewing gum. <laughs> That's right. This is the original chewing gum. It was really fascinating to see beekeeping at work the entire process from the worker bees all the way to the honey at the end, the end product. But I have to say, my biggest takeaway from that is I thought I had a lot of children by having four. That queen bee gives birth to 2,000 bees every single day. <laughs> That's a lot of babies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is what happens to me. <laughs>